and from Durango to Taos to Albuquerque. Winter weather slides across the region, and it may not be done. Winter has unofficially arrived. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powers. The first winter storm of the season has swept through the state, leaving many areas seeing white. The metro area didn't see significant snow, but got drenched with rain. And there was even a spectacular lightning show on display over parts of the Duke City skies. East of Albuquerque, snow blanketed the Tejeras Canyon area, and Sandia Park residents saw about two inches. No stranger to snow during New Mexico winter storms. Santa Fe residents received a dusting as well, and maybe a little more than that. Further up north, the Taos Ski Valley received about two inches of snow during the last 24 hours. Early morning temperatures were about 20 degrees there. And the storm didn't leave out the south as well. The village of Ruidoso and Ski Apache saw snow fall there, along with very high winds. Well, the storm hit hard and fast, but now the question, is it done? Here's meteorologist Travis Christie with the first look at the forecast. Well, you know, very impressive totals for the most part, considering how quick the storm moved in and then moved out. ABQ, uh, three inches. Bloomfield, an inch. We saw four inches in Grants. We had a, a, a report of four inches anyway. Six inches Sandia Park and a couple other areas where we did see some good snows. Gallup, around four inches. Cedillo Hill, we showed you pictures out of there. Two inches. To Harris, five inches. And the foothills saw about an inch there or a little bit less, maybe a dusting. Now, this is what it looked like a little earlier in Grants. So we captured some video of uh, Sky Ranger, courtesy of Sky Ranger. I don't know if we have that. Um, do we? There we go. Uh, check that out. Uh, pretty impressive there. Yeah, it doesn't look all that uh, deep, but there's a good chance that we had at least a couple of inches in parts of the city. Again, we did have reports of about four inches there. We still have some issues, though, and we got to talk about those. Winter storm warnings through tomorrow, tomorrow morning for the northeast. Could see as much as a foot of snow. Meanwhile, winter weather advisories for the East Mountains and wind advisories down south. That line of showers still rolling on in, but it's kind of quieted down. We've got some snow up towards Raton, back to the south as well. And of course, the winds are gusting up across the state. We'll have more on that coming up in just a bit. All right, Travis. Weather may have been a factor in two separate accidents that closed I-40. Cars are still being detoured about 30 miles east of Grants, while I-40 is now open near Santa Rosa after a semi-truck rolled. And there were power outages in Lordsburg, where a truck wiped out power poles, in Albuquerque near West Mesa High School, and in Farmington. Now, the Four Corners was among the first to get hit with this storm. This is a look at our Durango camp from about an hour ago. Durango Mountain Resort has six inches of new snow, and it's still snowing. They expect as much as two feet by the time the storm moves on. Stay with KRQE News 13 throughout the day for continuing weather coverage. Chief Meteorologist Mark Ronchetti will have the very latest in all of our weather newscasts.